we are not okay. okay it is coming now all right okay so my work is improved particles of optimization for non linear programming problem with barrier method <clears throat> so i started this work when i was uh, an assistant professor of bengal college of engineering and technology with professor omprakash dubey and one more uh, person randeep kumar from uh, department of mechanical engineering now i shifted to university of engineering and management so uh, basically the work is for stochastic optimization tactic the stochastic optimization technique means uh, uh, in optimization there is some stochasticity means uh, some random numbers should be involved some randomness so the randomness could be provided by the suitable random number generator okay some example for that is uh, ant colony optimization particle sum optimization simulation annealing genetic algorithm etc so now uh, we have focused on particle sum optimization so this is basically the method uh, given by candy and eberhard in 1995 and this is the evolutionary algorithm that we have already listened from one of the presenter uh, at the early and at the beginning of the conference so uh, this is uh, almost the same work so uh, but something is different uh, that is we are applying the barrier method for this work so uh, so uh, particles of optimization is basically the work inspired uh, from the bird or fish inspired from the nature suppose a bird or fish are uh, searching for food and if the bird is uh, can it smell the position of food at the particular moment uh, it is assumed to be the clo closest to the food and it can inform to the other bird fish and finally the search space gets smaller so basically the uh, process of particle sum optimization is this one uh, we basically have a uh, initial number of solution which is generated so this is the picture diagram suppose we have the number of solutions generated at uh, various places of the solution area so now our goal is to maximize or minimize so if a uh, one solution is somewhere at the pick point then we are uh, pushing the other solution to that solution so uh, the basic process is this vid and xid should be updated so vid depends on two things that is uh, particles on best position and uh, global best position so global best position is the position of uh, best position of all the particle and uh, particles on best position is called to be p best so uh, this only two lines are the main thing of particles of optimization which is uh, giving you the result now this was the basic introduction of particle sum optimization now let's come back uh, come to a uh, constrained non linear optimization so constrained non linear optimization the general form is given to be minimize fx subjected to gx uh, so all are non linear so fx may be x square plus y square gx may be some x cube plus whatever some method for solving this kind of problems are sub gradient method KKT conditions, penalty methods, barrier method. So now let's focus on one more thing that is barrier method. So it uh, it is simply converts the nonlinear programming problem with the constraint to nonlinear programming problem without constraint. Now the conversion for above NLPP is uh, therefore this one. We are basically imposing a constraint R. So f x plus r by g x plus g x whole square by root under r, where r is a constant for imposing a barrier. Now we have learned three things: that is, uh, particle sum optimization; second is constrained linear optimization; and barrier method. All of this is combined in our paper. So we are basically what we are doing. We are applying the improved particle sum optimization over non-linear constraint optimization problem. The improved particle sum optimization means we are using a special random number generating technique, which is R2 is equal to one minus R1. So uh, why is this? Uh, the benefit for this is we don't have to generate two number R1 and R2. That that will decrease the computation time by computer. so we will generate just a single number and uh, second number will be generated by one minus that so that is the computational benefit so now second is uh, 
convert the anal nonlinear constraint optimization problem to nonlinear unconstrained optimization problem by barrier method and now apply the Scilab software to find the minimum maxima of the function by using improved particle sum optimization. So we have taken in account only the problem with equality constraint. So we have not bothered about the inequality constraint. Uh, so experimental setup, uh, the experimental setup is we have taken four different cases. Barrier constant is 0.1 and two random number are different. And independent barrier constant is 0.1 and two random number are dependent that is r2 1 minus r1 and similarly two more cases so now we have done 800 iteration by taking 50 initial random particles uh, that is solution so we have plotted the graph of five example also uh, so uh, after up imposing the barrier constant the graph looks like that so we have also given the graph in our paper so the result and conclusion that we found the table that we find at the fourth experimental setup gives the sharper result on an average uh, that is because the barrier constant is high okay we, we have taken the barrier constant at the at the last one is 0 0.01 that is the lowest uh, and Second is R2 is equal to 1 minus R1. So second random number is depending on the first giving the computational advantage. These two reasons were involved. Therefore, we have found the sharper result. So results is already included in the paper. So the reference for this presentation I have taken from the web and uh, therefore thanks. Okay, thank you Raju. And, uh, it is your nice you, presentation. Your PPT is very nice, apart from your paper. <laughs> because, and I have no right to ask any question because it is an, under my supervision. <laughs> then I right. asked Professor uh, something. That Professor Amesh Kumar Sarma for any question. Just a second, I, I open. Yes, sir. Professor Sarma. Hello. For, yes, sir. From, uh, sir, is there any question? No, sir. I guess. <laughs> you must ask uh, something. <laughs> okay, it's okay. You open Dr. Sachin also. Yet, Dr. Sachin, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Uh, sir, uh, again. good morning, Sachin, sir. Uh, good morning, good morning. Okay. Professor uh, Sachin Tripathi, sir, is from ISM, Department of Computer Science. Uh, the ISM Dhanbar, it is a IIT. Sir, uh, we have presented a, a paper improved particle swarm optimization. Pro I, um, how do you go through uh, this paper? Only the thing is, the comparison part is missing over here. Means, uh, uh, whenever we are doing any sort of research, we need to compare the experimental results, whatever we received actually. So, so, so we uh, have. Yeah. I could not attend the complete uh, slides, but in the last, what I have seen, you are concluding without any comparison of your work. So, so sir, we, have, we have already compared. Raju, we have saw this slide. How, okay, Raju, sir? As a professor has seen us. Okay, sir. So, we have taken the four cases. Uh, the first one is barrier constant is 0.1 and two random numbers are different and independent by the random number generator. Second what is, is barrier constant. What is the significance of this barrier constant? Physical barrier constant. Uh, okay. So barrier constant is basically a constant R which is uh, rising the entire function. If the barrier constant is 0.1, this will rise like that. 0 0.01, this will rise like that. So this will convex the entire reason, make convex. So if the reason is convex, then the uh, the reason will be smaller. The search okay. space will be smaller. So that is the benefit. Means uh, what you will recommend, what should be the value of barrier constant? If it is a lesser than what will be the outcome? And if it is a, uh, higher than what will be the outcome? Means which one is the better? Point zero 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 one is better. So we better. have taken point zero one. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, fine. And another one is, uh, what is the justification of using PSO for this kind of problem? So why you, not, why, why you have not chosen the other approaches for this? What is the justification so of that? 
So basically, I have uh, already worked on particle sound optimization in my institution, IIT Bombay. So uh, that's why I applied. That, that's why I applied uh, because that I already know. I, I, may I know uh, you are a researcher in the IIT Bombay right now? Uh, no, I am an assistant professor of University of Engineering and Management, Kolkata. Kolkata. Okay. So. Um, so uh, I know quite a lot. Whenever, whenever you are choosing uh, any technique to apply, fine. You yes, should. Right. So why, why it is a better one? Why I am choosing this? So, sir, this is better because we have two benefits. The barrier constant is high, which creates larger, larger convex region. And second, the second random number is depending on the first, giving the computational advantage. So these are the two things which is involved in the entire research paper. Oh my goodness! I have to enter tone, but that's yeah. Just remember so much of the formula. So that is the benefit of choosing this method. No, no, no sorry, I couldn't attend uh, because I got a phone call. Please repeat, huh? So, uh, please repeat. Uh, okay. So the barrier constant is high, which creates larger convex region. The first oh, no, thing. My question is why you are choosing the PSO to apply for this kind of problem? Why we not the other uh, other AI approaches you are applying over? Uh, why we this? Can okay, because I know this algorithm perfectly. That is not a justification. I know this. That's why I am applying here. We, we can we, uh, we can apply. Some, some some intuition or something you got. Okay, this one is a better for me actually because if you know PSO, uh -huh. you can go for the ACO also. Is right, right, right. We can apply that also. We can apply that also. So, uh, have you thought of? Have you applied experimentally or not? Yeah, I have worked experimental. I have the codes. I have applied. No, no, no. What I am telling you, have applied the other approaches. Uh, no, other approaches I didn't apply. What, what my suggestion is, you just apply the other metaheuristic approaches and compare your result. Which one is a better one? Then you can do like this is a further enhancement in this. Okay. So uh, one, one more thing I, I would like to say, sir, that is uh, one one already research is there, uh, particles optimization. One research is in 2013 paper. So which is right. saying that this mu this much result is already found. So we have compared from that, and uh, this is giving some some advantage. No, Over I, that. I, I am not doubting on your on your work. I am just suggesting for the future improvement. Okay, 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 right, right, right. Anything there should be a justification, and if you have not, then you should work exercise on that, and accordingly 